Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. That's you know right. Crazy? It's time for the rumors, huh? It's time for Rumor Report. And we had somebody pop in to bring us some drugs. And <laughs> 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 So, so I was like, oh yo, you, you, you might as well sit for the rumor report. That's so right. Flame Monroe is here. Drop the ball for Flame. Flame. Wake that ass up this morning. Mother is home. All right, so let's get into some of these reports. Now, Takashi 6 9 was brutally attacked in a Florida gym. Uh, they said he was in the spa, and they said a bunch of men came inside and whooped his ass. It was so bad that they had to rush him to the hospital in an ambulance. Oh, just the whole thought. Six, nine, a bunch of men. That sounds so graphic. <laughs> but you know they say snitches get stitches. It just took a minute. But because didn't he snitch? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Well, snitches get stitches. But six, nine, and a bunch of men. I'm, I'm down for that party. What, are they, what was that at? <laughs> that, that's his name. Oh, uh, I know claim. what his name is. But six, nine mean a whole lot of other things, too. And I ain't talking about no height. But let me just listen. Hear me, hear me, hear me well. I hope he feels better. I hope he's okay. But... You gotta, you gotta know who to trick to. You and, gotta know who to tell on. And guys, I want you to know this is live. Flame Monroe, this is live. Flame Monroe just pulled up on us. Flame literally <laughs> just came here to bring drugs. Absolutely. I brought fans. I did not bring drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna be feeling good by the end of this show, though. Yeah. <laughs> Prayers for six nine. We hope you're okay. Give your mouth shut, player. All right. Now, J. Cole uh, talks about some of the things that, uh, some nasty habits that he started as a young teen or young kid, I should I was, say. When I was six years old, I was smoking cigarettes regularly around That's the neighborhood. I was, How does that even happen? Like, just being around the neighborhood. And like, so you're like, six. I'm six. My, and the thing was, my uh, my brother's four years older than me, almost four years older And he's older 10, he's smoking too? No, that's the wild thing. He, he, it was just, I was always hanging around the older kids in the neighborhood that he was hanging around and they were smoking. And I was young and fearless and, and, and trying to be cool. So it was like, it was, oh, y'all smoking? Like, let me see that. Mm. I need more context because J. Six Cole... Six years old sounds crazy. Yeah, but J. Cole don't have a lot of conversations. He don't do a lot of interviews. And, you know, the best clip that I'm hearing from this interview is him admitting he was a Marlboro man. Like, come on. There's got to be more to that interview than that, right? At six. Oh, my God. That's the clip they pulled for what us. What kind of influence was that? Ooh, you, what else, you couldn't find nothing else to do at six. Wasn't no Barbie dolls. Wasn't no Tonka trucks. Wasn't no G.I. Joes. Look, G.I. Jane, G.I. Trans, something. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't G.I. Trans. Not back then. <laughs> no, no, not back then. Not back then. Uh, lastly, now, uh, have you been hearing what's going on with Tamar Braxton and Candy and SWV and Escape? I've seen all that all that mess going on. I watched uh, Tamar make a whole live video talking about she saved and she a five-time Emmy-nominated journalist. Mm -hmm. Hosting a talk show does not make you a journalist. Let's start right there. Mm -hmm. That's true. And I am a big fan of Candy Burris because Candy is hood hustling gangster. I love me some candy. I hate the hunt Tamar is going through all of this, but this is what this is what we want. We want all of this drama and this confliction. We keep telling some black women need to bond, black women need to grow together. But then you go public and say, oh, I'm, I'm ready to fight and I ain't want, I'm a Christian. All the Christians want a humbug. Let me just say that. <laughs> all the Christians want to fight. They violent as hell. Let me just say it. But I hope they resolve that because Miss Candy don't look like she gonna have it. And you know Miss Tamar done went after her sisters, so hey. But then the husband stepped in and somebody else then jumped in. Men need to out of women's business. I'm going to say that. Men need to stay out of women's business. If they're going to duke it out, let them duke it out. I want to see weeds flying, nails cracking, all of that. <laughs> Flame, you, bring, you bring up a good point, though, because, you know, everybody always does talk about togetherness and how people need mm -hmm. to come together and tell it's reality TV. Right. When it's reality TV, people want drama. Yes. They think it's boring when it's when it's no drama. Yeah. Throw some heels across the room. I miss uh, Tammy, Tammy, Ro Tammy Roman fought everybody. Tammy Roman fought Jesus. That damn Tammy Roman fought everybody. <laughs> bring Tammy Roman back. I need the violence. Tammy ain't I'm fighting no Tammy more. Tammy's Tammy an actress She's evolved. now. She's yeah, an actress. Tammy in movies and on Miss Pat's show. She has her own show. Yeah. On, on, well, on first, first of all, I love Miss Pat's show. And Tammy Roman ain't stretched far from where she was before. Because she cussed everybody out on that show. And I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, yeah, Tammy said it's right there. Mm -hmm. you, you know, oh, it's right there. You, you push right it. on the right edge. That's right. Oh, yeah. Now, she definitely did. I hope they resolve that. But Candy. Candy ain't backing down. I love Candy because Candy is a great businesswoman. She got a mind about making money. And Miss Candy gonna say what she got to say. And Miss Candy is still the number one TV star on that damn Housewives of, um, of Atlanta. Atlanta. She's been there since the beginning. Well, this is what happened. Tamar uh, clapped back at Candy, of course, on Shade Room. After uh, uh, Candy said that the girls group booking fee allegedly tripled that of SWVs. 
Well, Tamar left a comment and said, imagine having the biggest ego for the most non-singing ass person in the entire music industry. By the way, stream my new song, Change, where I play I pay homage to the amazing SWV. Mm. Oh, you better get you better get that plug in, Tamar. I like Tamar. Tamar, I like a ball here though. Oh, cause ball here, she kind of turned me on. It do something what? for me. Oh, what? she's thuggy and she ball here. You know that's my get down. That, oh my god, Tamar, call me, girl. <laughs> I hope they don't get the fight. I don't know who gonna win, cause Tamar, like, if she take off all her hair, Candy ain't gonna have nothing to grab. Lord have mercy. I mean, no, women grab hair. That's true. They grab hair first. Tamar, mm -hmm. you gonna? That's just like a slick leg. You just ain't nothing there. And Tamar okay. look thuggy. Yeah. <laughs> I keep telling you, I'm turned on right now. I'm sitting on myself. Good God. Come on, where we at? <laughs> Flame, what are you doing? Oh, That's the rumor God. report. What are you doing in town? I was in. I came in town to do Sherry Shepard. I'm promoting. Uh, I had to do a book signing with. The, I'm on the number two audio book of 2022. I did the audible for a book that a guy named James Hanahan wrote called "Did Nobody Give a Shit What Happened to Carlotta." Uh, he uh, just uh, sold uh, the movie right. No, you can't curse. Oh well, I said it. We did nobody give a um? What happened to <laughs> Carlotta? And um, he just sold the rights. I'm not going to get the star of the movie, but they wrote a character for me. So I did the audible, hardest job I've had to do in years because I had to read somebody else's story. Yeah, right, right, but right. the three hundred dollars an hour, nine hours a day for eight days. I want to thank you for that silent, quiet money. Look at God. Oh, so Audible's get the great. book. Audible is a number two book of 2022. I think it's on the uh, uh, New York Times bestseller list. Congratulations. Year. Thank you. Well, don't go nowhere. We, we, Flame is still here. And yeah, and next time Flame is uh, in town, Flame will be co-hosting on the, the Breakfast Club. Flame, How many days? Because yeah. I came for the job. I didn't come to fit in the seat. The seat already fit. I came for the gig. I know everybody else. And y'all had some good ones up here made me nervous. <laughs> I do favorite? fight girls. Who is your favorite? I don't have one favorite. I have four favorites. Okay, what are four favorites? Not in order. Okay. I, I, I loved Claudia Jordan on Claudia, here. Mm -hmm. I She'll be here tomorrow. tomorrow. I love Jess Hilarious on here. Okay. Shout out to Jess. I absolutely, I know, I know y'all. I liked damn Ray J. I did. You like Ray J? I did. He was entertaining. Okay. okay. It was right. funny. It was the last but one. But my favorite, because the woman who I aspire to look like one day, and I know it's a stretch, is that damn Lala Anthony. I love, love Lala. Lala Anthony. I love beautiful Lala Anthony. Lala, what you going for? Lala is what I'm going for. You got to get a new surgeon then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. You stupid. <laughs> That's the rumor see, report. I'm not gonna put up with this. I'm leaving right now. The People's <laughs> Choice mix is up they, next. He, miss, she, he missing the mark, please. <laughs> Stupid. We're, We're the same color. The Damn, knock it off. I'm all close. Right. We're the same color. We got, we're about to get in the mix. We're gonna do the mix all young Dolph. Of course, we announced earlier I'm doing a car show in Memphis, the Love for the Streets car show with uh, uh, Paper Route. That's the Young Dolph family, the Young Dolph estate. So we're bringing Young Dolph's 20 cars. We're bringing Key Glock's cars and a bunch of celebrity friends' cars as well. So get your tickets if you haven't got them. Tickets are $19.99. And if you want to put your car in the show, you want to be a sponsor or vendor, I'm calling all Memphis out. Memphis, come on out. DJ MV Car Show at Gmail. Hit us up, and we would love to get your cars in there. We would love to have you as vendors. Shout out to K97, our station out in Memphis. We love you. Shout out to Big Sue. Of course, all our sponsors, Lincoln Tech, Teen, I love you. Uh, Monster, Branson, uh, and let's get to the mix. Let's go. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.